Hello everyone, it's Sizzle Collapse, and I'm back yet again playing Tech Ages. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I'm having an absolutely wonderful one myself, so we're going to kind of get back to this pack here and start hammering things out yet again, because that's what we do, right? Uh, over here, we actually have a fair amount of Liquid Starlight, so that is one thing I kind of got going in between packs. Uh, we have seven buckets currently. I don't think we need that much for today, but it doesn't hurt to have more, right? So have that going. Down here, I've actually done some multi-block, so I actually have the multi-block for the Seared Furnace. This one is basically just a giant furnace that takes lava, so not a big deal. But at the same time, it can smelt up a ton of things all kind of simultaneously, which is really awesome. Because, uh, yeah, we have, you know, a whole bunch of stone in there. I did a bunch of food and also more stone. I just wanted to see how far it kind of went down, so I kind of went down there. It only puts like 16 items per slot for whatever reason, but it doesn't even matter, right? Because I could just, you know, grab all this jazz. Just get it all. Give me all that stuff, right? I'll just group it all up. And then, yeah, I got a bunch of stone, which I can actually chisel and use for building later, which is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> over here, we got the seared tank. This thing's pretty cool. Uh, this thing can hold liquids. It can hold different types of liquids, and they don't mix. So, pretty cool for just liquid storage. So, I have lava here, and I have water. And, uh, yeah, I went and got some more lava in between episodes. That wasn't a big deal, but uh was another trip. <laughs> that was definitely a thing. And over here, I actually have an infinite water source. And I'm going to kind of show you here. Is pretty neat. Actually, let's just do these ones. You can see I made more buckets too, because I am a bucket fiend. But uh, this is actually an infinite water source here. So if I actually, oh, I, I messed that up. But anyway, if I do that, the water goes away, right? But if I put it here and then pull from here, it doesn't matter anywhere along here. It actually gives me the water back, which is pretty cool. Which means it's if it's just infinite, man. I can just take it and just keep putting it in here. I'll just get more and more water inside our tank. So I have an infinite source of water, which is awesome. The way I'm doing this is actually with the aqueducts from Better With Mods. So they're pretty cool. You just kind of put them on the bottom, then put kind of materials on each side to kind of make a channel, and then run water into them. Then every water after the source block is actually counted as a source block. And you can move this, I think, infinite distances. I don't think it really matters. Maybe it does. I, I shouldn't say that. I think you can just keep moving it, though. So it is a way to kind of move water around. Uh, there is a way to move it kind of like up and down on Y level, but yeah, you have to use a thing called the screw pump, and I just didn't want to get to it. Now that we have buckets, I can put the source wherever I want, and that just makes things really easy, so I did it that way. I moved my melter here, I guess I moved my kiln there. Uh, over here, I was working on, well, I was working on these iron sharpening kits. These things are awesome. They only take two iron, you just need the big cast for it, you can do that in the tinker's table, use the piece of wood or stone, whichever way you want to do it. But once you have the cast, you can just kind of pour these things. These things can repair your tools just in your regular kind of 2x2 two two inventory here. So if I wanted to, you know, repair that up. Well, it's not going to let me, is it? Yeah, <laughs> it's not damaged enough right now. Anyway, we won't worry about that. Oh, this one, it might not work. It'll work on this one for sure. I think. Maybe it's not. I don't know if that's not damaged enough. Or it's because this one's still considered a bronze pickaxe. Because I actually changed this one. I'll have to make some bronze ones of these. That's not a big deal. But, uh... I changed this one. I gave it iron, so it actually has magnetic too, and this one's magnetic as well. I changed the head on this one over to um, an iron uh, shovel, so it's got an iron shovel head on it, give it the magnetic too. This one I only did the binding, but I may have to do the pickaxe head to be able to repair it with these. But I didn't want to do the pickaxe head just because it was going to slow it down some, but I might do it just because you know, iron is just going to make repairing it easier. I won't have to carry around two sharpening kits, but anyway. I guess the mining speed, it wasn't a major drop. I think it was like six. Anyway, won't worry about that right now, but that is definitely something I did. Magnetic just makes the items kind of fly to it a little more. Uh, like Yeah, right there. It flies to you from a certain distance. Two just makes it go from further, right? So that is definitely a thing. Should show these doors too, because I actually kind of used a little trick with these. This is a vanilla kind of mechanic. We can kind of place down the door and it places it this is technically a closed door right now. And when I do that, it's actually technically... Sorry, this is an open door right now. And when I do that, it's actually considered closed. So when mobs try to come through here, they can't actually go through because they think this door is closed right now. <laughs> it actually totally confuses them. Because that, yeah, technically that's an open door. And that's a closed door. Just a way to kind of keep the creepers out without having to, you know, worry about my base blowing up. Uh, over here, I made these strainers. So I have the same strainers before. I made two more. The main thing I wanted to do, though, was upgrade them. So I made these uh, survivalist strainers. These are actually just better versions of the um, strainer, I guess, nets. I guess you want to call them. 
So yeah, same basic thing, except for they have 720 uses as opposed to 120. And uh, these are pretty much the best way, I think, early on, to get gravel and sand without having to mine. I don't even care about the shark teeth and dirt. I mean, I've been using that to fix the holes that the creepers make in my lawn. But anyway, that is a thing. I took care of that. And okay, the first thing I want to get to here is probably a new backpack. We can actually get into iron backpacks, which actually, I think, by default, have more inventory slots, which is pretty cool. So yeah, we can kind of level this one up easier too. The upgrades for the one we're currently using is kind of multi-stage. So you have to make the first tier upgrade, then the second tier, and the third tier, and the fourth. It's a lot more work. Upgrading these ones, because later on we'll be able to get this one up to diamond. It's just easier step. So I want to do it that way. So we're going to go that way. Plus, it'll give me another backpack. I could just use that one instead of maybe carrying around as many crates. Or, you know what I mean, just uh, store stuff when I'm mining. Which is a pretty good idea. I guess I can, if it's empty, I probably can put it inside a backpack. We'll have to see how that works. But uh, anyway, we just need some leather, that, and a crate. Which uh, we should actually already have the crate, because I always have crates. I actually already pulled it out. Let's grab four of them, and not run flush. That's probably not going to work. My leather, man. Oh, it's already on me. Sweet. That's even a better deal. And uh, we'll get the first tier here. Should not be too bad. Should be able to automatically upgrade that. Yeah, just that. And what is the gold one? Yeah, we can just make plates, man. We have all the ingots and stuff now. We just need to kind of get that ground down. And that's pretty good. I guess hammer down. I guess it's hammer time is what it is. There we go. We have the iron one. And we have the gold one. Now, I don't know if this bug is still here, but I know previously. I think it was in Dire Wolf 20 when I was playing that pack. If you upgraded these things and it had items in the inventory, it deleted it. So I would test that before I risked it. But this thing has what? Six rows of inventory, which is fantastic, because I this one, <laughs> it's just getting totally backed up. I just can't can't keep it under control at all, and I might have to go check. I'll have to go figure out what I need there, but um, go and check if the binding has been added to be able to wear this thing again, because it used to be able to do that in 110 and previous, but uh, you haven't been able to do it since, which is a little unfortunate. And uh, yeah, I probably need half that stuff, but I guess we'll figure it out as we go. Actually, the last thing I wanted to check, I can put that in there. I'm actually curious about one more thing, though. Let's see here. Can we nest these? How how well can you nest these? Does it matter if there's something in here? No. So I could actually have a backpack inside of a backpack. That's pretty cool. Okay, awesome. So that actually handles one thing I want to take care of. So that's that. Another thing I kind of made here, and you'll kind of notice. I made this, the Sentient Sword. This is actually from Blood Magic. This thing's pretty cool. Really easy to make. You just need Demonic Will or Petty Tartaric. doesn't take any will to make it. But uh, once you make it, it kind of it only has four damage when you first make it. But you'll notice mine actually has 7.5. The more mobs you kill with uh, Tartarix in your inventory. So where are my Tartarix? I probably threw those in the bag. Right? These ones right here. So if you have these in your inventory, this thing will actually get more and more damage. As you get better Tartarix, you can actually hold more will. Because you can notice that says will 64. That one's at 64. You, gotta kill, you kill mobs. In case, instead of having to use the rudimentary snares that we did before to get the will drops, this kind of makes them drop anyway. Except for when it picks it up, it puts it automatically into these Tartarix, so they don't spam your inventory anymore. Kind of like just big droppings of those will, right? Uh, but as you get more will, the damage of this thing goes up, which is really awesome. So it's 7.5 damage. That is my best weapon right now. So it's actually pretty cool to have. But uh, yeah, I definitely did that. We're going to make one more thing here. Actually, I made one more thing here too, actually. The sigil holding this thing. Not bad. Just a chest, a piece of leather, 16 string, Tartarix. With, uh, you needed a... Tartaric, full, so one with 64 will in it, then it drains 20 out of it. So you actually have to have 64 will, and then it'll use 20 when you kind of make it. And that's why I have kind of a couple of these, because that way you got to make more things, because when this one gets drained, I'm going to have to go use that one, you know what I mean? Because um, it needs to have the, the, the minimum, right? Um, but we're going to make one more sigil. And the point of this sigil here, I should probably show that, because I didn't really explain that, actually has five slots for other sigils. So you can actually carry five sigils at the same time. We can't make all the sigils yet. I noticed that because I actually wanted to make it. I actually made the candle for it. Where was it? I wanted to make the blood lamp. I was going to make this one, <laughs> but the minimum, um, where was it? Not there, right here. The minimum will for this one is 200, and we can't make the higher level Tartarix yet. It does show it, but uh, it doesn't show it in JEI, so I'm just assuming it's not unlocked yet. It's just one of those things where it can't say it's not familiar. <laughs> So I'm just going to run it like that and pretend that's the way it is. Because it looks like that's the way it was intended either way. And uh, yeah, the, the sigil we're actually going to make right now is going to be this one. Which is right over here. Where is it? Not magnetism. You can make some of these. I'll kind of explain these. 
The Void Sigil, that voids off liquid, so lava and stuff. So if you want to get rid of it out of your world. Green Grove speeds up growth ticks. Blood Lamp is torches that you can kind of throw. Uh, Magnetism is a magnet, but it uh, uses blood as you use it. All these use blood anyway. Uh, Haste just makes you move faster. Fast Miter makes you <laughs> mind faster. Whirlwind is actually uh, arrow deflection. Holding is the one I have. Elacticity and Winter's Breath. And there's one I wanted. Oh, I wanted the Water Sigil. This is the one I want to make. Because uh, this basically makes it an infinite bucket of water. Um, so I don't even really need to bother with buckets. I think it only takes 100 uh, life points every time you use it. So that is the one I was kind of looking at. There we go. Have the right slate. Grab that. And we just need to use the region on this, right? Which I think I've already done. Oh, no, I didn't. Where's my region, man? I'm totally derping up. It's right here. <laughs> hey, wait, let's do that. Let's actually use the region. Let's try that. Then use the slate. There we go. This one actually looks right, too. That's cool. Look at that thing. I do like that thing. <laughs> anyway, grab some screenshots. Because, you know, I'm always looking for good screenshots. There we go. And, uh, yeah, there we go. We have this one now. And I think, like, I don't want to do it right here. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll just dig a hole. <laughs> do that. And there we go. Infinite water. And that just uses, like I said, 100 LP every time, life points. And you can see that we have 17,000 on our network anyway. Because the orb and all that jazz. Don't even have to worry about it, man. Good to go. Anyway, that is that. And I'll probably throw that into our actual sigil holding. And then I can just scroll in between whichever I want. Which is awesome. That is actually really cool. And okay, before we get back into Astral, there's a couple more kind of little quests here. I just want to kind of mop up. This one here is the compass. I think that's pretty cool, and I want that. I'm also going to make the watering can. And I think we're going to do the market. So we're just going to get them all done. Uh, what does the compass need? Let's see here. I know the watering can takes plates. So that takes plates too. So we're actually going to need eight more plates. We'll get those done really quick. It'll only take a second. <laughs> no time at all. I'll do it that way, man. It's easier. Anyway, get them done. Might as well try out the watering can. I mean, we don't need to really fast grow anything at this point. But, uh, it may come to a point where I need something really quick and just go, hey, do it that way. Or I guess, I don't know. I haven't looked at the recipe for the uh, the sigil of growth. I think is what that one was called. I might be able to just straight up kind of craft that one. Um, but if I can't, I mean, it might be later on thing. But, uh, some of them took more will. So you couldn't actually do any of them. Uh, not any of them. Couldn't do all of them, I guess I should say. What am I looking for here? Oh, compost. Where's my composter? I put it over here. I made the composter too, because it was so simple. It was like ridiculously simple. Like uh, right here. I think this stuff just works as a uh, bone meal. So yeah, I just went with this one here, which is just stuff kind of cut up with the saw. But, uh, really easy. You just throw in seeds. So you actually have to craft up a bio mash. Um, it takes four different kinds of, well, four of the same kind of seed. Doing a two by two. Get yourself bio mash, put it in there, and over time it turns into fertilizer. So we actually have that. I actually needed these empty buckets back as well, so I should probably grab them. There we go. And uh, try out this thing, man. Watering can. Sweet. And sweet. Probably have to fill that up with water. Try that out in a second. And uh, we got the uh, quest for fast farm. That didn't unlock anything past it, which is what I was kind of curious about. Next thing is the market. There we go. And uh, we're going to need a red wool, which I actually made a fair amount of wool today. Can't remember. No, I did not. We may have to make a couple more wool. Because I think I'm out. And okay, I went ahead and made enough wool. So we're good there. Just had to make some more wicker. Nothing really special. We need something for red dye. So poppy should work. We should be able to put that in here, I believe. Should not be a problem. There we go. Let's grind this down. This thing's just way easier. This one here. Even though it doesn't double up everything. They don't all double up anyway. So sometimes it's just it doesn't matter where you grind it up. But that grinder is just kind of way easier than the other one. Unless you want the noise near your base. Anyway, I think it was just this, right? For the Red Bull? Is it this? No? Is it uh, specific? About where it goes? Oh, it's a cauldron recipe. I didn't even look at that. I just saw that it took eight. So we're going to have to do that. And then eight of those in there. Sweet. Put that in there. I don't know why I have white fleece in there. Yeah, that'll smelt up in a second. And then we can get that one done. That is pretty cool. So hopefully this watering can is decent. Haven't really tried it out. Is it daytime? No, it's night. Let's actually, let's wait. <laughs> let's grab this. Only take a second. And kind of get that done. Because after this, I mean, we don't have a lot. What do we need for the compass, actually? Compass, I believe I saw an arrowhead, right? That was the other four plates. And we'll have to cast an arrowhead. I did make that cast, so we could actually go do that right now. Hopefully there's no bobs. Kind of sitting on my, right out here for me. <laughs> let's keep going, man. Keep moving. 
So let's grab you. Let's throw you in there. I should have. It's right there. Sweet. And I have this thing utterly full of iron anyway. So let's kind of just cast off some more. Getting that done. Getting all the processing. I did tons of processing of this stuff in between episodes. But it doesn't take long. It doesn't take long at all. Especially if you have this many basins. Once I have these hoppers kind of set up properly, then I won't even have to pull them out like that. Kind of just grab them. But anyway, copper tin. Oh, sorry. Iron tin. That. Made some more ender pearls too. So definitely something that I have there. There we go. Did that actually give me the arrowhead? It did. Sweet. Should be able to just craft that up right here. And sweet. We have our compass. And you notice the top left now, we have X and Z coordinates. We don't have Y coordinates, but I think we're getting an item that's going to handle that later. So that is actually really awesome. I just don't want to be outside. And there we go. We got a red wool. Let's go and kind of get this done here. So we're going to make the market. So the market was, let's go here. That. We just need some logs and that. And I never have logs in there. Because <laughs> there's one thing I'm always short on is those logs, man. Anyway. Let's do that. I don't think I've ever used this market at all, so I'm not really sure how this one works. Let's kind of put it right there. What the heck? What? <laughs> I always use the one for Pam's. There's like a guy back there? Can I move this guy? Like, how's this work? Am I gonna lose this? It doesn't matter. What? What in the actual... I have no idea what that was. Okay, apparently there's a guy that stands behind it. Okay, let's uh... I don't know. I, 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 obviously, I can move it. So, let's kind of put it right here. What? I have not seen this before. Okay, so it doesn't matter what you right-click on. Is this even really here? It is. That's actually really neat. I'm so used to the Pam's one, I've never used the uh, farming for blockheads. And, uh, yeah, what's he trade for? So, just all different saplings. You can get bone meal. And not too many seeds. You can't get industrial hemp. That's cool. And uh, melon, pumpkin, stuff like that. That is cool. That is actually really cool how that works. And uh, it looks like it takes gold, right? Is that what it takes? I need to select something. So if I wanted... Can it, does it give you the rare ones? I'm curious now. Jungle, redwood. Yeah, so if you wanted redwood, yeah, you could just do that. And I just do this? That's actually pretty neat how that works. He's pretty cool, though, how he kind of... What is his name? Swapomatic? Kind of just uh, sits out of stall, man. That is actually pretty awesome. I think that's a nifty little idea. And then just the kind of uh, explosion for decoration. I'm not going to leave him out here, though. I'm going to put him downstairs. He's going to live in the basement. He's going to guard my uh, smeltery for me. Probably what he's going to do. Kind of, I don't even know where to put him, man. Where am I going to put this guy? Maybe right here in the corner. I don't know. i got to find a spot. He's neat. Uh... Yeah, let's put him, like, right here. For all that it matters. I'll put him this way so he isn't actually stuck in the wall like before. But, uh, yeah, you can just sit there, set up shop. And if I ever need anything, I gotta get that from him. I wanna try out this watering can, too, really quick. Just, how, how do you... That's probably not how you fill it. Go to here. How do we use this thing? You don't... Maybe it needs a real source block? Yes, it needs a real source block. Not a fake one like I was doing? <laughs> Because those ones are kind of just masked, I kind of semi, you know, mass faked source blocks. I'm just curious how well this thing works, actually, so maybe we'll just kind of get some of this stuff. There we go. And see. Oh, that's actually pretty quick. Yeah, I can't complain about that at all. Okay, cool. I'm fine with that. Not bad. Makes it so I don't really need that other option, which was the, uh, the sigil. Because that'll pretty much handle everything we need. Don't know how long it stays filled. I guess that is an issue. But if it stays filled, because it doesn't have a bar, so hopefully it just stays filled. If it stays filled, then sweet deal. And okay, the next thing I want to get to here is kind of gathering up all the supplies we need to kind of get through these two quests here. So I want to get to the upgraded Starlight table. And uh, I think it's called the Starlight Altar. <laughs> anyway, and then we need to get the ore that we need to get into the Twilight Forest, which is the Star Metal Ore. One of the things we needed was Star Metal Dust. I guess it's just called Stardust. Which you can actually just get from the samples for the rock crystals on the ground. So when you break them, it actually gives you stardust. So that is pretty cool. Uh, we're also going to need a rod, because I want to make the resonator as well. But uh, we don't need as much starlight for that. So we can actually craft that before we make the next altar. Because uh, we're going to have to do a multi-block too. But uh, that reminds me, I should grab some of this. I just kind of want to grab everything, so we only have to make one trip up there today, right? Anyway, let's grab you. We're going to need our resonator. So let's grab that. What else have I going to need here? You're just looking at a bag, man, staring into the oblivion, wondering what you're going to need. 
Uh, the Resonator needed that rod, right? We should actually pick that up. It needed Aquamarine. I know that's for certain. And I think it took Marble. We might actually have everything we need. Why don't we look at that? Resonator. That. We need a Bucket of Starlight, which I have right there. So we actually have everything, which is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, we can make a Resonator. The main use of this thing is to find star, I guess, strong Starlight fields in the world. We won't need this right away, but kind of when we go from this altar to the next one, to the one after this, which is probably down the line, um, we may need this to find a place where we can get enough starlight. We're fine because that spot up there already has maximum starlight because it is high up and we just kind of got lucky. But uh, you may have to put that table in different places to be able to do this ritual. It needs to be a full bar. Uh, let's look at the altar next, kind of see what we need. Uh, altar? No, no, not, not at rat. Altar. There we go. It is this one right here. I guess we just need the bucket. Some of that. We can just chisel that and uh, just any rock crystal. So we're pretty good there. So let's grab ourselves a rock crystal. Kind of get that done. And let's look at the last part, which is going to be the ore. So ore, what is it? What is it called? Uh, star metal. There we go. Because this one was a little more. <laughs> we need an iron cluster. Let's grab that. That's easy. There we go. We're also going to need two pieces of stone. Sweet. And then we had to do some crafting before that, which we may be able to do right now, actually. We need glass shards, which are smelted down piles of sand. I guess we just craft sand for that. I don't know how much we need, but I'll just kind of do that much. And one recipe was eight, right? I think is what I saw. Four, plus you need four more. So we need four piles of sand and four pieces of glass, but we need to smelt down four pieces of sand. Okay, I see how that works. Let's take four of those, melt them up. That'll give us glass. Then... This resonator and some gunpowder. So we need one piece of gunpowder. And that's going to give us enough to kind of do that, right? I think. Let's see here. Keep clicking on the wrong thing. So that's going to give us eight. We need four. Then there's the nocturne powder, which also takes four, but that gave us eight. I keep checking that, but yes, it gives us eight. So I guess all that's left that we need is coal, uh, black dye powder, but that gives us four. So that's enough for one recipe and lapis. Okay, easy. Easy peasy. <laughs> Just going to get all sorted out. That'll give us the glass we need. We have the four sand we need. Okay. And dye. We need black dye, right? I don't know how much of that I have, but I think we only need one this second. So that is pretty cool. I'm going to have to run around and just focus those flowers. Because uh, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of flowers like everything else to make the black dye. And uh, yeah, no one wants to have to go get ink sacks if they don't have to. I've been just running past all the flowers lately since early in the game. But anyway, I think that's good enough. And we should be able to make those powders kind of right now, which is pretty cool. Uh, the illumination powder is pretty cool, actually. It's actually a form of light. You can kind of just put it on the ground, and it's a light. The nocturnal powder is really weird. You put it down, and it actually creates this, like, giant black field, which actually spawns a mob. <laughs> but uh, I probably won't be doing that right now. But it is a neat little thing, nonetheless. Can I head up here? Good old-fashioned way that we do. Sweet. I'm so happy I'm not using the the boots, the slime boots. They drive me nuts. <laughs> I don't know how many times I could say that. Every time I think about using the sling, I'm just like, ah, oh, I don't have to use those boots for a change. We may be able to do the illumination powder, though. Actually, we can't, can we? I didn't notice that until right now. Did that take the other table? It does, too. So we can't even do this right now. I literally have to wait till nighttime. And kind of get this done. Just going to double check one more time to make sure we have everything. And if so, I'm just going to sit here, man. I'm just going to sit here. Wait for the nighttime to come. And kind of get that done. Sweet. We're only halfway through the day, too. And okay, it's nighttime. We should be good to go. I'm trying to get a lot done in one night. So I got to kind of just kind of hammer it out. Let's go and grab that, Jazz. Grab that. So I think that's everything we need. We do have a full kind of, you know, altar full of power. So we're going to get it going. First thing we're going to make is going to be the altar. So I believe it was this, right? That. I need the eight for the actual kind of multi-block. Because I went ahead and crafted all those blocks. Because like I said, I'm trying to get everything done in a single night. Just so we don't have to do this forever. Let's do that. And I need my wand. So I should probably grab that. Okay, we're here. I'm really hoping mobs don't bother us too. That is kind of a wishful thinking. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, where's my resonating wand? Oh no. Oh, it's right there. Okay. I'm wasting time, man. Do that. Bam. Get that going. And uh, that'll slowly craft into kind of the altar that we need. Next thing we need to do 
is make a multi-block, and the multi-block is actually over here in exploration, and it's right here. So if you kind of scroll over, you'll see this. If you kind of put your mouse on the little star thing, you'll kind of see all the materials you need. And I just used a chisel. A chisel to do that, except for the sooty bricks, or sooty marble. You just take marble and surround it around a piece of coal. When it actually forms into the altar, it's actually going to do it in place. There won't be an item inside it. This altar is literally going to change. So you won't be able to do any crafting until you kind of get the multi-block built. And it can accept starlight again. Because the second this switches over, it will be useless. It just it won't be able to do anything. So that is definitely a thing. I probably need to pick this up. Because we are going to build the altar right here, kind of where it stands. So maybe I'll stick it over there. Go. Actually, I want to make sure that doesn't bother it too. So we'll kind of wait. But anyway, hurry up so I can get this done. We're wasting... Ah, oh, there we go. So there's the altar. It is done. It has a red bar kind of depicting that it doesn't have any starlight because it can't accept it because the multi-block is done. So we're going to kind of get this going really quick. Kind of finished up. Get the multi-block done. Hammer it out. There we go. Going to grab the sooty. Kind of get it done. I've done this thing so many times that I just kind of know it. But let's do that. Three around the side. So a three by three, then a little kind of roundy corners. <laughs> let's do that. Sweet. Because we can go around the last side. Let's turn that off. Still haven't had any mobs, which is nice. Wait, let's do that. Let's go. Why do I feel I have... Oh, yeah, because it crafts extra. Next thing we would need is... Which ones? The bricks. So let's grab the bricks. Should be able to just kind of throw those in there. Sweet. Then we got to get five kind of coming off the side here. Let's get that done. Sweet. And that should multi-block. There we go. It's filling up the starlight. And uh, we're not going to talk about it anymore because, well, I need to hurry, man. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's kind of clear that off. Let's grab you, you, and you. That should be the first recipe. This is going to be one for the illumination powder. So I think it was like this and like that. I do not remember the next one at all. So maybe it was that. There we go. Got our illumination powder. It's going to shift right click, get that one done. And yeah, once you have that multi block, you can start using it as a you know crafting table again. But uh, in between that time where you don't have a multi block and you do, um, you're not going to be able to do any crafting, so that is definitely a thing. While I'm doing this, I should probably look at that nocturnal recipe. Let's go to nocturnal dust, nocturnal powder. So black dye, two coal, that. Okay, we just need this illumination. How's our night doing? Not that great, man. <laughs> what do we have left? We're going to need that, that, that. Okay, that's done. Sweet. Let's uh, get in here. Is this, that, that. Oh, this looks like it was a regular crafting recipe. I probably could have done this anywhere, right? Anyway, that's too late. Too late to worry about that. Sweet. That'll probably only take a second then. I could have done that in the regular crafting table. I may have even been able to do that in a vanilla. I'm a total derp. I'm wasting time, man. Our star lady is going down, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to finish this. I'm hoping we can get our star metal. Let's see here. Star metal. Or illumination. Because it was that. This two stone, and hopefully we have enough. We don't. Oh man. Okay, so I don't have enough starlight. It has to be up to this bar, which means I'm actually gonna have to wait another night. So what I think I'm gonna do, because I literally I look around here, I don't really have anything I could do right now. I could make this crafting table, but I really want to finish this up. I want to get this done. This is gonna take the Twilight Forest anyway. What is this one? That one I saw was gonna take Twilight Forest. That I don't need right now, so. I'm going to wait an entire day <laughs> and uh, kind of get this done. Maybe I'll go cut down some logs or something because that's what I need, kind of. And okay, I'm back. It's late enough that uh, I actually have enough starlight here. And uh, we're going to get this going. We're just going to craft that up. So a second, the second that you kind of get this kind of, you know, image here, that tells you that you have enough starlight. If that image is in there and you have the correct recipe in, you do not have enough starlight, you're going to need more. <laughs> but our night's just kicking in, so the power is actually still going up. Doesn't look like we ever reach full in this spot, but that's actually really good. We will have to fill it to be able to get to the next crafting table when that time comes. We don't have to do that today, mind you, but I'm sure the pack's going to make us go there at some point. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to find a way to kind of get enough starlight to do that. But anyway, there we go. We got our ore finally. That's awesome. So, let's smelt this down. I guess we can just smelt this, right? Let's go and get our portal open, man. I want to get this finished. So, we're all ready to kind of get to the... <laughs> it's amazing doing that. I love doing that. Uh, all ready to go to the Twilight Forest, which sounds pretty cool. So, yeah, with just a straight-up smelt, I doubt we have any way to double right now. No, just, uh, not gonna worry about it. I can throw that into here. Sweet. 
I'm actually using the coal pieces here too, just so when I do single things, I'm not wasting coal. So that's just regular coal broken down. Basically tiny coal. <laughs> there we go, we got our first piece of star metal. And uh, let's read what the book says, because I think it was just a water source with water around it. That's how it normally is. I like crafting. Oh, I need to pick up my altar too. <laughs> Let me go do that. And there we go. I should just have to do this, right? Yeah, there we go. We have our, uh, you know, goals, I guess. Our goals reached, our advancements. <laughs> there we go. I'll head back this way. Get right back to where we belong. Almost at my front door. Like, that is perfect. Just perfect up there. I love that stuff. Anyway, let's do that. So let's go and read that actual kind of quest now. So what we need to do is, well, enter the Twilight Forest dimension to continue your journey. Fill a 2x2 two two hole with water, surround it with plants, saplings, or other flowers, and throw Astro Sorcery Star Metal like, into the water. Okay, so let's go grab. We're going to have to make a 2x2 two two of water. Do not have, I'm going to have to do two trips, aren't I? That, let's get you out of there just in case you're a problem. Grab this, and uh, we should have to just throw this in here. And uh, we should have a portal, man, which is pretty awesome. I don't think you even need this many flowers. I don't think it actually has to be totally surrounded. It, But if everything goes right... Like, oh, dude, I was going to say, nothing went right. And yeah, there we go. We have our portal to the Twilight Forest. That is actually awesome. And uh, yeah, let's eat some food. Maybe jump through really quick. And uh, yeah, just kind of get it loaded. And uh, see, how, see what it's like in there, man. And okay, here we are. We're in the Twilight Forest. That is pretty cool. It's actually really funny where we spawned. Because <laughs> there's our portal. That is a boss. <laughs> I don't know if I want to fight him. I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't prepared. Because, uh, yeah. Did they change this thing? I think they did, too. They made it way taller. Anyway. Gotta see if we can actually see him. What is hurting me? I have no idea. I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, no. This isn't a boss. What is this? Okay, I thought this was the Naga. Did they change this? Maybe this is the Naga. It is. They totally changed this fight. Do I have my bow on me? Oh no. I did not plan for this at all. This was not not in the planning. Let's grab our bow. Let's grab our arrow. Oh, he's wrecking the walls, because that's what he does. Let's actually grab our bow. And kind of stay on the walls, man. They changed this. They actually updated this? That's cool, because I actually did this not too long ago. This was the kind of same way it was in 1.7. Oh, I don't. Yeah, they totally changed the walls. They were way um, shorter than this. He's very noisy. I don't want to come down to your height. Let's kind of maybe come down here. <laughs> Should be too bad, though. I mean, usually you had to run in to fight him. You can see here, he's kind of like playing the game Centipede. Have you ever kind of seen that game? He actually <laughs> gets shorter as you kind of get hurt him. But anyway, there we go. Let's keep on running. <laughs> Once he destroys a little bit of my pillar, I guess I can just take off. Uh oh, I hope I have enough arrows. What hurt me? Oh no, <laughs> that is dirty. What is going on? I don't want to be here. Go. Maybe fight on top of these bushes? Does he shoot a projectile or something now, maybe, to uh, stop you from cheesing him like this? I mean, I'm still going to cheese him like this. Nothing's going to stop me. But, uh, <laughs> most will get done anyway. Oh, he's on top of the bush now. So he could have got up to my wall and just didn't use the dirt. Come on. What is going on? I do not like this. You know what? Let's fight. Bring it. Oh, man. I should grab my shield, but I won't bother. Yeah, I don't think you want to fight him like this. That's actually a bad idea. <laughs> He's almost dead anyway. Come on. We can do it. Bam. Right? No. Bam. There we go. Wow, that was totally unplanned. Anyway, there we go. We have our first boss done. And we got here. Time to Elven the Scales. Ha ha ha. Very punny. Anyway, let's take a look here. Yeah, we've got all our quest line here. It looks like things changed. This does not look like it used to. So that is actually pretty cool. But uh, yeah, probably pretty much everything I was going to do today. I was actually just going to come through the portal and end the, end the video and say, hey, we'll do it later. But uh, they did change this completely. Like, this this is not what it used to look like. But it is pretty cool. This used to be a big, open, clear place. It didn't have all these trees and bushes and stuff. And I'm wondering if there's anything in the center. Not seen it. Probably a spawner that usually spawns in here. 
Because that's usually what you see. I don't know if they changed it, but you'd see these spawners kind of in the center. You walk up to them, the spawners would turn into the boss. So anyway, definitely a thing. And okay, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. I'm just going to let everyone know that I do have a Discord. If you want to stop on by, say hello, any of that jazz, feel free. Everyone is welcomed. Just keep classy, that's all I ask. I also have a Patreon, so that'll be down in the description as well. That the uh, well, one of the current rewards is actually to uh, you know be able to get onto my Patreon server. So you want to check that on that Patreon server is actually currently running this pack. So if that's something you're interested in, you can check out check that out. It'd be definitely pretty cool. But uh, I am going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. And you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.